Afternoon, O'Malley. Right, uh, good afternoon everyone and welcome once again to Where Am I? Uh, and once again I'm up at the allotment plot. Um, this is my third day in a row but when the weather is as nice as what it is I need to take full advantage and try and get this this place uh, up and up and ready as soon as as soon as possible. Um, if you didn't check check out the latest video, we have got some seeds in the ground, which are potatoes, um, red Red Duke of York, I believe. So in about 10, 12 weeks' time, hopefully we'll have a nice harvest. Um, before I get into what I want to do today, I've purchased uh, some netting, which is apparently it's like a scaffolders netting. It's quite um, robust, and uh, I'm going to hopefully make some frames up. Um, in the coming days um, for the raised beds and uh, and whatnot so we can lock this place down like Fort Knox so uh, hopefully it'll keep out any little critters I also need to repair the fence um, which I could use this or I could make a, a structure I think I've got an idea of what I want to do but this could come in very handy so happy days now first of all massive thank you to everyone um, for answering a few questions which is about this no dig um, I've been doing a bit of research into it and that's what I'm going to try and do I think it's going to be the quickest way for me um, with the raised beds in the polytunnels I would like to get some uh, manure in that and I think that's pretty much getting sorted out um, in the next day or two um, but with the beds outside I think it's going to have to be no dig so today I'm going to rake them down so they're nice and level I've got some cardboard with me and I need to make sure there's no sellotape or staples in there and then we'll get them laid down. Um, some people have said to water it, some people say don't bother, um, I'll have to wait and see how we get on with that um, and then I'm going to have a little rummage around see if I've got some compost to put on as well. Um, and then we also need to water the potatoes. So um, let's get to work. Right, so here we are in the allotment. It's another beautiful day it's about two o'clock in the afternoon today I had a bit of a, a rest this morning after doing a few days non-stop it's it's cloudy but it's warm um right so these are the raised beds um now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rake rake the top one and i'm gonna rake the next one down um i'm just the thing actually i might i might rake all of all, all three of them and then just see what cardboard I've got because I, I, I haven't got enough to do all three. Um, tomorrow I'm going to pop to the shops. Um, yeah, so I might start with this one here, the middle, the middle one, um, because the potatoes are on that one. So I want to maybe not disturb them just yet until I've got a place to to put them, which will be down the side of the potty tunnel. I've decided, but all that there needs to to go fast. So that's another job to do. So yeah, I'm going to rake this. It's all level. And then we'll sort the cardboard out and then we'll, we'll go from there. Right, so now um, it's raked it out nice and level. We're going to go get the cardboard. We're just going to have to go for it. Right. Now, I've got some cardboard. This has got sellotape on the sides, so I need to get that off. Ah. Right. <laughs> Messing around, we'll cut that out. Right, so the one that I, I thought didn't have a lot of tape on, had a lot of tape on, and also had staples. Uh, so now I'm gonna attempt the second box. It's got staples. Right, let's crack on. I was doing the uh, cardboard boxes, taking off the set of tape and removing the staples. Uh, when I had to go and get this little dude from the main gate. Thumbs up, Zach. Okay. Yeah. Um, from the main gate because he's been school and he's come to help daddy. And as I was doing that, I walked and I stood 
on the raised bed and I've broken it. So I need to do a bit of a, a fix, fix a upper on this one. Which Zach reckons I can just hammer that back in. So we'll go and try what Zachary says. But first, I need to carry on doing these boxes, get that done. Because it looks like it's a good chance it's gonna rain. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. Right, I've got another box to do here. Um, so let's go and get that box and uh, we're, uh, hang on, what's going on here? Hey, what's, go what's going on? <laughs> well done, Zach. <laughs> Alright, give me back my box. Right, so uh, I've taken all the tape and staples out of the cardboard. Now it's, now it's time to get it laid, ready for the no dig. Okay, so I don't have enough cardboard, cardboard um, to do the, the whole of the raised bed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put compost on it anyway um, and cover it as much as I can and then come back tomorrow, finish this raised bed. Uh, but I'm gonna pop to a shop, see if I can get some more cardboard, um, a lot more, and do the others as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some co uh, compost on here. Um, just at least it's done half of it um, and then we'll do the rest tomorrow um so yeah let's get some compost i don't have enough i thought i would have had enough for this raised bed i don't now i can either put it on this one or i can leave it till tomorrow and do some more but i need to fix this side of the raised bed so i'm kind of thinking maybe move across to this one because i've definitely got enough to do that so we've got about an hour left so we'll give that a go instead potatoes I don't really want to I'll, I'm gonna to have to move them again but I don't really want to I want to try and keep them still so they can uh, get growing but I'm gonna rake this one make it nice and smooth and then we'll get the cardboard on Right, so dear people, I have put, I've raked off this bed so it's nice and flat, and then one box pretty much 99% covered it, um, but then I've just used the flaps just to cover down the side, hopefully stop any light getting in uh, down there, and then we're going to cover it now in compost. I just hope I've got enough compost with me, um, but if I haven't, not to worry, I will be back up tomorrow with extra compost. Um, so yeah, let's get the compost on. Let's get this snow dig completed. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna vlog today's <laughs> um, journey to the allotment. I'm not sure um, because, I mean, I should really, because it's just showing what can happen. So as you all know, I started doing that one over there uh, and then broke it. And then I found out I didn't have enough cardboard for it. So I moved on to this one, uh, which I've done. I was actually really happy with it, it was all going nicely and then I literally thought I had enough compost um, and boy was I wrong. Um, so what I've done is I've put the compost on that I had which was tiddly compared to what I thought um, and I've put a pallet on it as well to weigh it down just to keep it there so it's done. Um, and then tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to get some compost now the plan is because i'm thinking i've got a lot of raised beds to do here um well a lot of area to cover with compost and down this side and in here and i know that you can get like compost online delivered like uh you can get like a ton of it um delivered which i might just have to do and i might have to go home and see if i can get some delivered tomorrow so i can get compost on this bad boy so it's so it's basically uh you know ready to work and, and planting straight away um but those are just the the, the mishaps I, I i guess you know i'm um I'm, I'm learning i'm beginning um and and these are the things so, so tomorrow i'm gonna have to go and try and get myself some compost and some cardboard to get these raised beds where i need them to be 
Um, so that's the plan of action for tomorrow. So I think it could be an early start tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. Come on. Let's be honest, people. That's pretty pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> that's pretty pathetic. Dear, oh dear. Anyway, Zachary's over there. He's having a great time. He's doing some weeding and digging. He's dug a, a massive hoe. He's having a great time. Um, and I'll tell you what, this allotment makes me feel great. Um, you know, being being registered blind, it's hard to, to you know, get a job, etc. Um, as you can probably understand. Um, so it's great for the mental health being outside and getting this fresh air and wildlife. Uh, but it's also good for the children. Um, you know, Zach's finished school. Instead of being at home, you know, he's he's outside, he's getting some fresh air, and he's uh, having a little adventure of his own. So it's lovely, absolutely lovely. And now it's a case of just sit back and relax, or do I do some weeding down there? Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered. I've done a lot of weeding lately. I should do though, shouldn't I? Should do. But another, another glorious day at the allotment. Awesome work, Wayne. Well done, son. We're gonna eat down the side there. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, that is what we've done so far. Actually, it was pretty quick. Um, I mean, there's still a lot to do, I know. But uh, time is up for us. We are going to go home. Um, but there's a bit of a mess here now, which needs sorted out tomorrow. There's a few potato bags there, um, which we'll need emptying. Uh, but yes, today we've weeded down the side there. I'll tidy that right up tomorrow so we can put the potatoes down there tomorrow. Uh, we've started a no dig here on this side and uh, Zachary's been weeding in the bed over there. So all in all pretty productive um, but not nowhere near as much as what I wanted to do but I've still got to go home now and basically try and get myself some some compost ready for tomorrow. But Zachary's done a good job weeding over there. Well done Zachary. Good lad. Right everyone thank you very much for for watching where am I uh, today. Uh, didn't go according to plan, uh, um, but you live and you learn, and um, at least I know what I need to do moving forward. Um, so yes, today is Tuesday, we were up yesterday, we are up Sunday, and we'll probably be up tomorrow and Thursday as well. So if you haven't, please do subscribe. There is so much to come, and uh, you can join me on my journey um, and this massive learning curve. Um, but yes, until next time, stay safe, and thank you very much.